take sense all the way to one two hundred and then i'm gonna experiment take a listen to this and see how it changes So you can, you can make it hit harder and cut through at the same time. So this is something that every international and professional producer uses. If not always, then I don't know. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Pro Mixing and Mastering. Today, I'm going to teach you and show you how to shape the tone of every instrument. So let's go ahead and let me play my kick. I want to show you what I did and the plugin that you guys can use to shape the tone of your every instrument. So the plugin that I'm talking about is Talk Stereo. So this is Talk right there. As you can see, I have Sense and then there is Talk Trim and then there is Speed and the, there is a threshold like the one that you find uh, on a compressor. Then there is Output Volume. Of course, you can increase your volume. Now, this is not how my kick was in the beginning. So I'm going to turn off Talk for now, bypass it, and then I'm going to play the kick. So take a listen to this. I did not want my kick to sound like that, so I needed to shape it. You can shape your snares, you can shape your the heart, you can shape the cymbals, just literally all your instruments. In this case, I wanted it to have that bite a little bit and just to cut through just a little bit and not just be dull in the background. And to the kind of the song, it doesn't sound professional, so let me turn on talk now. And now suddenly everything becomes live and professional. So what did I do? So I'm going to take sense all the way to one, two hundred, and then I'm going to experiment. Take a listen to this and see how it changes. So you can, you can make it hit harder and cut through at the same time. So different modes or tones that you can like give to your kick or your snare or anything that you have till you find a place, a better place or a sweet place where you like, okay, this is okay. This fits in my mix. So this helps you to really like make your instruments fit nice. Now, let me show you this. This is how it works. This is your threshold. It's like uh, the way a compressor works. Of course, when you take it up, the more it's going to like compress or cut off some of those frequencies or compress those frequencies or squash those frequencies. And when you take it down, it's like that's like the more uh, your sound is going to sound uh, natural. So let me do this. Put it on the middle. Take it. Take the threshold forward. Now I'm going to take it all the way to down, negative 70.0. So this is like the natural uh, kick sound or instrument sound. But whenever you want it to like get compressed a little bit, of course, you can use your threshold. And then, of course, you have your trim. If you don't want it to have that, uh, 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 those transients are spreading all over, you can like trim those transients. This is the work of this trim. Let me sh put it on 0 0.3. Right now, the sound scattered. Let me take it all the way to negative uh, 6.0 dB. So you, you don't want it to like just sound dull like that. So you have to trim it a little bit to a place where it sounds sweet. So let's go ahead and take it up. So around 5.7 dB, it sounds controlled. So that's how you do it. And then this is your output, of course, the output of your volume.
So this is literally like the, the gain or your volume or output. So let's go ahead and put it there. Then you have focus. Focus has a, a, a C, D, E, F, G, A. So it's like whenever you're looking at your your uh, your, your keyboard, there is C, there is uh, D, there is E, there is F, then there is G, then there is A, B, C, and O, all that. So it's it's the same it changes the tone of your your kick if you put it on g it's just gonna change like for example g2 then let's take g uh uh g sharp 2 then you can take it to then you can go ahead put it on a that's gonna be your focus your focus on a particular uh key or frequency more like an eq or you can take it all the way to 9, 988 and then you can shape it the way you want it to be so like E4 sounds different there are just some songs that will sound great on E4 like this the kick is just, is just will just sound great or any instrument that you're using will sound great on this one this is nice especially when you want everything to play in the key that you played your piano and everything you can set it up using talk and of course i'm not sponsored by talk but if those guys want to sponsor me i'm open up for sponsorship and then you have your speed how fast or this is like your release or your uh your your release and your your attack so this is like your speed in milliseconds how fast do you want talk to react how slow do you want it to react so i love to set it around uh well around 30 yeah right there so guys this is how you change the tone of your uh instruments of course i have my you know my preset already saved it as f that's how i wanted i wanted to hit so i hope this video has helped you don't forget to subscribe to the channel and help it grow see you in the next one